we continue our reading of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus, an invitation to spend a year with your best friend, a daily devotional by author George R. Knight. Today's reading, March 24. Authority over Nature Suddenly, a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with waves, but he was asleep. Then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you so, why are you so fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. So the men marveled, saying, Who can this be, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Matthew eight twenty four to 27 Who can this be? Who is this man? That is the question that the disciples were struggling with as they began their walk with Jesus. It is still one that challenges us today. Today's verses find Jesus and his followers caught in the midst of a fierce storm on the Sea of Galilee. Lying nearly 700 feet below sea level, it is surrounded by hills and mountains that are especially steep on the east side, and just 30 miles to the northwest is the 9,200-foot Mount Hermon. The interchange of the cold air from Mount Hermon and the warm air of the lowlands could produce unexpected, fierce storms, uneven what appeared to be a clear day. Such is the situation in which the disciples find themselves. And there is Jesus, sleeping. Like us, he did not come as a superman, but one who became exhausted with the pressing of the crowds and the business of life. He was truly one of us and is therefore able to sympathize with our weaknesses, Hebrews 4, 15, Hebrews 2, 17. But while he was sleeping, his disciples had whipped themselves up into a frenzy of fear and self-pity. Don't you even care if we perish? They shouted as they woke him from a sound sleep, Mark 4, 38. He did care rebuking the winds and the storm, and also the disciples for their lack of faith. The result? Calmness in both the sea and their hearts. But to these men, the calming of the sea was astonishing. Who can this be? Who has power over nature? They were forced to ask. The experience was crucial to their developing understanding of who they were following, since in the Old Testament it is Yahweh, God alone, who has power to quell natural storms. Psalm 6 7, Psalm 89 9, Psalm 104 6 and 7, Isaiah 51 9 and 10. Jesus' authority over nature helped the disciples begin to realize more fully that he was indeed God with us, the Yahweh of the Old Testament. The good news is that Jesus, who saved his disciples from the storm, is still mighty. As his followers, we have nothing to fear in the long run because we serve a Lord who has authority. We never face the trials of life alone even though he appears to be sleeping in some of the dangers that we face. He is still mighty to save. This concludes our reading today of Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus.